guys, what the heck is wrong with this world we live in? What is going on? I feel like I've stepped into another planet or something. I don't know. I just went into Walmart and you go into Walmart and you normally see a variety of characters there, right? There were two men who were obviously homosexuals. They were, you know, it was very, very clear. And one of the guys is wearing the most beautiful pair of dangling cross earrings. Oh, that broke my heart. And then I get outside and there's a car that has the Jesus fish on it, a cross hanging from the windshield or the, yeah, the windshield and a sticker on the back that says, I love D-I-C-K. I see stuff like this all the time. How can you wear the cross? How can you represent the name of Jesus Christ and still be just like the world? Hypocrites. If you're watching this and this is convicting you, please repent. Please repent. This does not come from a place of judgment but it comes from a place of knowing the fear of the Lord and God does not take blasphemy lightly. And it's honestly a disgrace and disgusting that people are going around repping the cross, repping the name of Jesus while doing unspeakable things, knowing that they do not serve our Lord and Savior. Again, this message is not to condemn anyone. Hey, God pulled me out of drug addiction, out of fornication, all kinds of crazy things, okay? So I'm not judging anybody. I've had my fair share of homosexual relationships. This is not judgment, but this is a warning. Stop playing with God. It ain't a joke. God bless you. I just wanted to add something to my video that I recorded the other day. Um... You know, I know that we are all sinners. None of us are perfect. I realize that someone can be a Christian and still struggle with homosexuality. Just like someone can still be a Christian and struggle with addiction or with, uh, you know, so many different things. So I just wanted to say one more time that this does not come from a place of judgment. And I'm not saying that people shouldn't wear a cross or say they're Christians if they're still struggling with sin. That's not what I'm saying. But the Bible tells us that if we truly belong to God, that we will not practice sin. We'll not make a practice of it because we can't, the Bible says, because God's seed, God's spirit has been plant, implanted inside of us. So will we be perfect? No. We have permission to make mistakes. Jesus already knows. He already knew what he was getting himself into. But if you are not living <clears throat> excuse me, if you are not living like a Christian whatsoever, but instead living like this world, 100%, yet you're wearing a cross or representing, claiming to represent Jesus, you need to repent for the Bible says the truth is not in you. So God bless you in Jesus name.